Hey guys, so today I'm gonna try and unlock a new legendary just for the heck of it. <laughs> so I'm trying to go for Monomimus. I 100% have enough DNA to unlock it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, I guess. Alright, uh, 170 out of 200. As you can see, I have more than enough DNA and I got just enough to unlock it. Hmm. This thing looks weird. I like the colors though. Um Where do those uh like feathers? I don't know, are there are they, are they feathers or like little needles? Where did they come from? Gally doesn't have them. Mono doesn't. Oh well. Anyways, uh, it's stats, 129 speed's good, it has average damage, 1.2k, which is very average, and low HP, which isn't too much of a problem since it has a distracting impact, uh, so that increases its survivability a bit, or quite a bit, um, so its low HP isn't the biggest deal, it has uh, evasive stance, like uh, Indoraptor, Personally, not a fan of evasive stance. Um, I like uh, I I just don't think it's that much worth of a move. But on Monomimus, I think it's you. It's 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 probably a bit more important than Indoraptor. Uh, I usually don't use evasive stance too much on Indoraptor, but uh, it should be pretty good on Monomimus since Monomimus does have that HP issue, and especially if your uh, distracting impact is on cooldown and they don't have. A, um, a, a, a damage nerf or they're immune or whatever uh, evasive stance is a good move to try to keep yourself alive so that's that and uh, that's two null moves which is unnecessary but uh, can't make it too good I guess so yeah null impact and null strike which by the way if I haven't said this already um, I don't not a big fan of null impact null impact is Probably one of my least favorite moves. I just like Null Strike better. And in every way, well, Null Impact does have a bit more damage, but yeah, <laughs> not too big of a fan of Null Impact. Null Strike's good though. So uh, I'm gonna tr try this thing out and uh, see how it does. I'm gonna challenge one of my friends, uh, Dwebble. All right, waiting for opponent, Jurassic Ruins. The three creatures. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh well. Uh, Stegod. Ooh, Stegod versus Stegod. This is gonna be interesting. I think me and Dwebble. Yeah, we probably use this same move set because this is. Hmm. All right. I have two options here. I. Yeah, I could do what double just did, superiority, or I could armor piercing rampage. Then next round we will exchange these moves. But since I got slowed first, and uh, so now I, you see, uh, I get to use superiority strike. But then my armor piercing rampage is off cooldown, so I could use it again, and that should be able to take down their stack odd. All right, so. That was interesting. Hmm. Let's see who's next. Well, usually... Stag on mirror matches. I start with short defense, but... I had a feeling we would do that. Uh, this isn't good. Oh, well. Yep, yeah, dead. <laughs> My first time actually facing Dweeb's... Uh, or uh, Dweeb's... Uh, whatchamacallit? What's this thing? Dimetrodon. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could just strike it. Strike plus Rampage has exactly enough damage to kill this uh, Dimetrodon. See? 1.4k damage times 2, 2.8k, that's exactly enough to take it out. Alright. Monomimus, 
and my Interruptor's dead. Um, no way I could get out of this, so resistance is futile. Just, just, just go die, Interruptor. <laughs> Alright. Yep, and an impact move just kills the raptor. And of course, it's gonna use null impact just in case I try to evasive stance for some reason, which makes zero sense in that situation. But, anyways, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about distracting impact. I should have superiority, but oh well. At least I get rampage on turn three again. Oh, that was a lucky crit. Alright, superiority. Oh, going for the evasion. Well, I guess he could... Yeah, that's his only... That's his best bet at the moment. See, uh, Monomimus' is low HP really needs that RNG on the uh, evasive. Unlike Indoraptor, Indoraptor doesn't really need that at all. And... Oh, guess he was unlucky that round. Alright. Let's try this again, see if I could get a, a Monomimus on my team. Alright, Duras Gruens, beat three creatures. Hmm. Oh, yay, we got Monomimus. Alright, let's go into Rex. Oh, no, I need to tap fast against this one. Uh, enable, uh, if I want to beat this thing. Uh, come on, come on. Yes. That was faster. Okay, now I need to win this next speed tie. Oh no, I lost the speed tie! Oh well. No, thing's dead anyways. Monomimus. Could just null the shield. Or they could do this. Hmm. Let's see. Options. They're gonna null, most likely. Ah, oh, that's such a good move. Wow, oops. Oh, oh well. Mm, that doesn't kill it. It's gonna be so. Since that's not gonna kill it, it's better for me just to go for two uh, null strikes instead. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. Yeah. Yeah, two null strikes kill it, so I'm not gonna go for the impact. Ouch. Oh well. There goes Dwebs. The Metrodon. Alright, that's down. Oh tap. Speed tie. Oh lucky crit. Alright, RNG's been on my side so far. <laughs> Which I enjoy. And can show uh, Null Strike should kill this. Yeah, the reason why I like Null Strike more than Null Impact is it's. Uh, null Impact doesn't have that much uh, room for mistakes. So if you use it wrongly, you know, if you get a wrong prediction, then. You get punished for it pretty bad. But Null Strike, you don't have that issue since it doesn't have cooldown. Alright, let's see. Expecting it to thag go ow. Nope. Oh, oh well. Then, let's see. Are they gonna. Uh, no! I'm, I'm getting completely outplayed right now. Just all the wrong predictions. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, what can I do? Oh, that was a wrong move too. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I could take another hit from it before I need to swap out. Okay. Let's see. It's a cripple. Yep. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I need to swap now. Even though I have shield, it's just gonna, yeah, he's gonna, just gonna null me. 
So, it's gonna do the Stegosaurus stuff on him. Instant cripple. Oh well. Let's at least get that speed advantage. I guess. Hmm. Oh, I was expecting a shield. Um, I'm expecting an instant cripple or a shield. So I'm going to try to do minimal. No. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to tag. Oh, oh no. Oh, I should be safe still. Um, I don't know if he shields. Okay, I'm going to go for the stunning impact to see if this stuns. Uh, 33% chance. I got the stun. Oh, I've been quite lucky <laughs> uh, this round. Unlucky with predictions, but uh, lucky otherwise. So, that is a mod of my miss. It's, uh, it's a really interesting dino. The biggest problem with it is you can't get it up too high since Gallimimus is it's pretty hard to level dino. It's arena exclusive. Um, on Lava Source isn't that easy to get either. So yeah, um, it's a great dino to use, use in friendlies, but unless you could get it up to a really a competitive level, um, probably there are better options than that. Uh, it's a it's a really fun dino. Uh, it, it looks funny. It looks looks like straight out of a, like a Dr. Seuss book or something. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, also uh, something else uh, I want to mention before I go, the Tylorano nerf and the Monomimus Galamimus changes and all that. Uh, there was a post on the forums uh just yesterday afternoon uh, saying that they wanna. Uh, revert those uh, changes. A Diplocalus apparently uh, went loose and wrecked up their headquarters or whatever and uh, accidentally broke some stats. And also the uh, DOT changes too. Um, the uh, in-game text right now says it's like how much percent of one's max HP. Uh, that is not accurate at the moment. At the moment it's still a uh, normal um, still based on your damage but they say that is coming in the next update so spinos are gonna get a pretty big buff i'd say <laughs> so uh, uh let's look forward to that i still don't know when dilorano is gonna get reverted back they said it was day uh still hasn't happened yet i can't wait for that so i'm all pumped and ready to go out and get all the dilos now and i'm gonna go do that now so i'll see you guys tomorrow